Melinda Elmer from Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Today sharing a few tips on how to make money investing in real estate. You know, over the years, people have gotten their start in real estate investing in various ways. Some people have rented out part of their homes, live with their families a little longer, and work extra hours to save up enough to start investing, and home equity lines of credit if you already own a property. However you make it work, know that the initial effort is worth it. There are a thousand different ways you can save money and you just need to get your start. Once you decide to invest, there are three main ways that you can take your investments. First is buy and hold. Now, frankly, this is the most traditional and really the most conservative method. Over time, appreciation will mean that your property goes up in value and you can save up this equity and all you have to do is wait for it to grow. This method can be focused in a variety of ways as well, from value add where you buy, fix up, renovate, and rent out, or simply just purchase. This method can also be focused more of a break even point initially to take long term appreciation, especially here in Southern California, or cash flow focused depending upon the property and location. Flipping. Now, this method requires more work, more capital, and additional risk but you can buy a fixer-upper property that has a high return potential and take the time to fix it up. Once it's in better condition, you can sell it for much more than what you bought it for. You just have to know how to do the renovations and ensure the profit. Short-term rentals. This has become immensely popular and you can buy a property and have the tenant in it for a short-term rental like Airbnb or VRBO. And these are mainly for vacation rentals and are best in tourist destinations, of course. Corporate furnished rentals can be also an option as well, which are generally more mid-range stays like 30 days to six months. You just need to know the laws of the area and put in the work to be the landlord. And this can be a little bit more time intensive with the turnover, but also can be more rewarding cash flow wise. The laws are still very much in flux when it comes to these type of properties. So be very aware when purchasing a property like this that the rules could change on you. If you have questions about what method is right for you, feel free to reach out. Our number is 562-316-2915, or you can email me at melinda at theomerteam.com. Thank you so much for watching, and please feel free to forward and share this with your friends.